so hello everyone so uh, so welcome to this final lecture of week 8 and so in this week we have talked about uh, a different method of semantics that is lexical semantics and we saw that how we can use connection between words to find out semantics and last two lectures we we talked about a very classical problem of word sense disambiguation that is given a word if it has multiple senses how do you find out uh, in a given context what particular sense has been used and you see this is a very generic kind of problem and you can use a lot of different methods for solving that and we saw that how you can use simple knowledge based approaches by using the dictionary definitions and you can use some uh, machine learning methods you can use some uh, bootstrapping based methods and also unsupervised methods there we also talked about a page rank based algorithm if you want to jointly find out the uh, senses for each words we did not describe that algorithm fully so uh, if you want to know in, in that algorithm details so you might have to wait till we cover the summarization topic in summarization i'll talk about page rank in detail but as such the generic idea you can also uh, get from the what we discussed and also you can look it up so now so this lecture we are taking a new research problem uh, that is coming from word sense disambiguation idea itself and also uh, from whatever we discussed in the towards the end of the last lecture so in the towards the end of the last lecture we were talking about uh, learning the word senses in an unsupervised manner so that is now i am not talking about senses defined in a dictionary so i am saying okay i have a corpus i know how the word has been used multiple times can i use the the usage of the word to find out what are its senses and what was the basic idea so basic basic idea was that if i know that i have a corpus see my corpus and i can find out which words co occur with what other words other words okay so like that i can construct some some model i know what words co occur with what other words so idea was that suppose i am constructing this network if a word has two senses what will happen the words that correspond to its so this is suppose my center word so words that are connect corresponding to one sense will be connected together words that are in second sense will be connected together this is sense 1 this is sense 2 so if i am building the whole coherence graph if i center it around a particular word and try to cluster it i can find out its different senses this is a very uh, generic idea and this i call it word sense induction also also known as this form wsi there are many ways of doing that because there are many ways you can do this clustering you can apply any graph based clustering method so for example chinese whispers is a very popular algorithm and you can use any other methods also so idea would be now when you do that for each word you will get some senses s1 s2 s3 and so on and these might correspond to say the words the other words it can be different words they can have weights and so on now so this is you given a corpus you can find out what are the word senses but it is in this lecture we will talking about a problem that can you find out if a word has got a new sense or not in some recent time has it got a new sense now does that happen so over the time we keep on using the same words in new and new and senses okay so and with the social media this is becoming a lot more common that you are using the same word in some new senses that is that it was never used before so let's see one example so i have the word sick right sick is a very common and popular word and you will say okay what is the meaning of sick something to be related to some disease or illness okay so like so this is the pop dictionary definition so affected with a disease or illness of or relating to people who are ill and very annoyed or bored by something because you have had too much of it so i am sick of that so now this is one common sense of sick now do you think sick has got any new sense in recent times and 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 if you think about it 
Sikh has got a very a new sense and that is completely opposite of this particular sense. So, what is that sense? So, let us look at this tweet. So, listening to Paolo Newton's new record, it is Sikh. Okay. So, now what is the meaning of Sikh here of the same word Sikh? It is not boring. Okay. So, this Sikh means something that is very, very cool. Okay. So, this Sikh has got a very new meaning from what we were seeing earlier, something that is illness to something that is very cool. Now, so words keep on getting these new meanings in the in the uh, in the corpus, so the way people are using that. Now, the problem is suppose my dictionary or my lexicon like WordNet is not getting updated regularly. So, if this word Sikh has got this new sense and it is being used in this new sense in a corpus, I will never be able to match it to any of the sense in the WordNet because WordNet has not recorded the sense at all. So, Bhagavad does not know probably that Sikh has the sense also and this is happening for many other words. Okay. So, now what is done in this field of novel words and rejection? From the corpus and the way the words are being used, can I detect whether the word has got new sense and if I can detect that, I can populate different lexicons and different and also my WordNet version I can update using these definitions. So, how do we find out if a word has got new sense? Now, again, so this is a new area, but there have been some different sort of methods and works. I will not go into details of any of those works, but what I will do, I will try to give you a basic idea that if you understand word sense induction, how can you use that to find out new word sense or novel word sense. So, let us uh, so have a basic idea. The basic idea is that I can try to compare the sense clusters. So, that is if a word is undergoing sense change, it can be detected by comparing the sense clusters obtained from two different time periods. Okay. So, something like this. So, you take the word compiler. Suppose in 1909, 1953, so the we take took the data and we did the word sense induction and from the induction, we found out that the word compiler has these two senses. So, one sense is in the sense of reporter, auditor, listener, etcetera. Second is on scientist, compositor, philosopher, publisher, preacher. So, they are two different senses. So, the, so, what it means is that these words come together to form one sense and these words come together to form another sense in 1903. Compiler was mainly some sort of person who used to compile. Now, if I look at this word in recent time like 2000 to 2005. Compiler has got a sense in the sense of uh, programming language compilers. This sense was not available, not there in 1909, 1953. So, can I automatically detect that the word has got a new sense from the data itself? So, what I will do again in 2002, 2005, I will do the word sense induction. So, suppose I do induction and I find these two senses. So, one is again the same sense translator, editor, listener, reader, commentator, that is similar to what we had earlier but you see a new sense also coming up preprocessor driver handler hardware software loader kernel dbms okay and you can immediately see by looking at these words this in the computer sense the sense was not available earlier so now this is an interesting observation that if i simply do word and sense induction over the new time period i find a sense cluster that was not available before and this gives me a generic framework so what i will do I will take my data that is over several time. Uh, so, it can be say 1800 to 2010 or whatever. So, it is starting from some T 1 to T 2. I want to find out what words have undergone ch sense change. So, what I will do? I will try to take some slice of this data, call it time point T 1, take another slice later on time point T 2. Okay. So, now I will do I will compute my co occurrence uh, and whatever way I want to compute my distributional thesaurus, then I will do word sense induction. So, for each word, I will find out S1 in time T1, S2 in time T1, S3 in time T1, and so on, and that I will do for all the words. Similarly, I will do the same thing at time T2. So, and I am at W and I will say S1 at time T2 s 2 at time t 2, s 3 at time t 2 and so on. Okay. 
now I have got the science clusters at time t 1 and at time t 2. Now, I will try to compare these to find out if the word has got a new science cluster that was not available in the previous time point. And this I can do for all the words and by doing that I can find out which words have got a new science in the newer time period. So, and in general I can define various, uh, various different sort of sense change. For example, it might happen that earlier a word has a sense, it has got a split into multiple senses or it can be a join, two different senses have joined together to form the same sense. They may not be so common, but what is common is something like a birth that the word had initially two senses S1 and S2, now in the new time period it has got a new sense S1 this is very very common. And then there might be depth of a sense also that earlier it had a sense of S0, now in the new time period I cannot sense find out this sense. So, all these you can find out just by comparing these sense clusters. So, here is another example that we observe from the data. So, this is from the work that we did uh, in 2014. So, this was in uh, ACL 2014 if you want to have a look. So, the title was that is Sigtude ok and there was some other subtitle. So, this was in ACL 2014. So, so we did, so we took the data from Google Ngrams and we took the whole data from starting from uh, somewhere around 1600 to 2008, divided into 8 different time points. Then, uh, so, the time they were divided such that in each time point you have roughly the same amount of data. So, as you go over uh, recent years, even like 3 years and 4 years for making a complete time duration and earlier it might be 100 years together because the data was not too much. And then we took different time points, constructed distribution thesaurus and then used some uh, Chinese useful algorithm to find out sense clusters and then compare the clusters. And so, what are the words that are getting? Some new sense. So, here was one example. So, we found that the word registers earlier had these senses and you can see these are like dictionaries, directories, libraries, compilation, bulletins. So, these are registers as like paper registers and so on. So, that you have even now similarly here notebook, diary, returns, accounts. So, in the new time period we found that these two senses are there directories, compilations, manuals, summaries, schedules, ledgers, notebook. But a very new sense has come up ok. And can you think of the sense? What is the sense? Peripherals, processor, circuits, workstations, devices. So, register has got the sense of in the sense of computing in a hardware that. So, now, uh, so this new sense we could detect simply by using the corpus that these all words were being used with registers and uh, and they were having similar uh, co occurrence edge as the word registers. So, we found this is a new sense cluster that is coming up and like that we detected many other senses. So, this is as I say as I was saying this is a new research field and some works have have come up in this in this field this is one such work, but I hope the basic idea is clear that if you want to detect new word sense what you need to do. So, that ends this week of lexical semantics. So, next week again we will continue with the topic of semantics. So, we have started with distribution semantics one idea, then we talked about lexical semantics another idea of semantics. Now, we will see how we can capture semantics using topics ok. Can we find out what are the topics that are there in my data use that for some semantics and that is why we will discuss topic models in detail ok. And they are again very very popular tools in NLP. So, thank you I will see you in the next week.